A bathroom organized as a living space or transitioning into a living space is no longer a trend, but a good practice. And of course, Antonio Lupe were pioneers here and continue this story. First of all, with their Borderline collection, which was launched last year and is architecturally exactly the kind of piece that is more characteristic of living spaces and in terms of finishes as well. In fact, Borderline erases the boundary between the bathroom and, for example, the bedroom with these wonderful cabinets. Color in the bathroom interior is also not a novelty. Antonio Lupe now offers ceramics in color and as always in very delicate deep shades, in this case gray. As for trends, it seems to me Antonio Lupe quite interestingly approached the question of the color of the year and presented existing models Simplo and Album in colors that are close somehow. Its natural marble simply is in Rosso Levante with a very rich baroque pattern, Album is in Calacata Viola. Also a very expressive and characteristic stone. The tactile experience of interaction with natural stone has also become very important recently, and the same tactile sensation you can get from interaction with a rather new material called Ice Mood. It's a kind of evolution of crystal mood, inside the product is still glossy, has this very mysterious transparency, but outside it is matte and very pleasant to touch. The bath and the sink look a little bit different due to the thickness of the material. By the way, the wash basin is on the new Alla shelf, which has a very unusual countertop profile and looks very thin and very airy. The Anima Liquida collection is an excellent example of how an idea that was a way ahead of its time can evolve into the present. It is, first of all, the natural stone wash basin that we have already told you about, but it is now also complemented with the furniture that also flows into the living space. Anima Liquida Living can be used in the dining room or living room, for example, and offers a variety of finishes in both natural wood and very deep shades of lacquer, matte or glossy, that is as suitable as possible for your space. You can use this system both in the bathroom, integrating all the storage into the walls as much as possible, and in the living space, taking advantage of the same amazing possibilities. And it's just the same with the Showdown collection, whether you have a wash basin and fronts in the same color or a contrasting design, and with the lighting it makes for some interesting architecture. And built-in mirror cabinet again provides very convenient storage and solves the spatial problems in the fairly compact rooms. By the way, as far as compact spaces are concerned, this is definitely one of the main trends of this show, and here too Antonio Lupe has something to offer. This is another interpretation of the Japanese bathing culture, that is, the Cuba bathtub, which is in fact a classic of Uro. Classic Japanese wooden tubs are usually exactly rectangular. Here is a relatively small size, but high depth and seating makes it possible to enjoy bathroom procedures in a really quite modest space. To get into this cube, another novelties will be very helpful. These small stools or tables if you want, with which you can place some items in the vicinity of the bath and get there comfortably, because the bathtub is quite high. By the way, as for the name, some experts say that perhaps it was not only the Japanese culture that influenced the choice of this name, but also the complex bathrooms in the new buildings of the Cuban capital. As for the organization of the shower, you can choose from two fundamentally opposite concepts. Either the shower heads will be as narrative as possible, with a very bright story, it's either Azimuth or Apollo, or they should be virtually invisible at all, like the shower head which is called Ghost. Ghost is built into the ceiling, it is absolutely integrated and there is no frame. The presence of the shower can be noticed only by large jets or small holes, if you look specifically at the ceiling, although it is unlikely you will do so. And of course, the top of the idea of the transition of the bathroom space into the living space is to combine them. And here we see again the shelf, ala, butler, cabinets and bed. 
As for the bed, it is also a novelty by Antonio Lupi, which we will certainly talk about in more detail at the Milano show, so don't miss this report, it is very interesting. You will learn what geopathogenic zones are and how Antonio Lupi fights it. Wolhang sanitary wear is certainly already considered the standard for creating a visually spacious bathroom that is safe and hygienic. It is already used in almost all wood projects. The only detail that remains inside is of course the flush panels. And of course, the company Tessa, which we have known for quite some time, offers several new options at this show. Firstly, the solid collection which has already become very popular, is now available in different colors of PVD coating. If before they used a special coating against fingerprints, now you can choose either lines or diamond pattern, and respectively, in this case, there will be no fingerprints. And as for the colors, bronze, brass, nickel and graphite are available. By the way, exactly the same finishes are now available in quite economical series like that's and Now, in which case the panel is made of plastic, but the colors are almost the same. If you don't like the square buttons, you can prefer the round ones, which is in the loop collection, and it's now also available in all these colors. Tetsa Square flagship collection already had PVD colors, and they match perfectly with the Tetsa drain profile covers and of course with the finishes of the very popular faucet brand. Now a very brutal rust finish is available for industrial interiors, but if you are more refined in your approach to creating a new bathroom, then you can choose brand new glass panels that have a satin surface. Until this show, unfortunately, Tetsa had no pneumatic remote buttons in its product range. But Tetsa hears its customers and in this show offers Tetsa Flashpoint, which are compact buttons in two different designs and also in different versions that you can install wherever you find most convenient. And as a result, you don't have to turn around. It is certainly suitable for especially lazy and cool solution for people with higher needs. Let's not forget that Tessa also offers a contactless solutions. It's quite famous Tessa looks mini and also the same solid. And the settings of these panels can be done with this special application which is installed directly on your phone. You can choose double or single flush and also set the regularity of the hygienic flush if you don't live permanently in your house. Obviously, pre-wall units allow you to hide all the engineering, but their size and configuration impose certain limitations. Tessa is trying to remove this and offers an ultra-low installation system of only 75 cm in height, which allows it to be placed directly under the worktop. In certain configurations, it will be very convenient and this remote control button is ideal for this kind of configuration. An extra narrow installation system with a width of only 32 cm also gives additional opportunities, such as for the toilets, and the same is available for sinks. Even in compact bathrooms, you can think of a comfortable and ergonomic layout. Such installation systems can be installed in the corner without loss of space, respectively, it expands the possibility for planning. In order for the installation frame to have all the advantages of a good Tessa product, a special valve is used. As for flushing mechanisms, previously a set of rings was used to regulate the flow. Now this is not necessary. 
because you can adjust the pressure with a special screw taking out the so-called basket so you will not have splashing out when using super compact toilets and there will not be a so-called underwashing if you use larger models or models with a rectangular shape. Hygiene requirements have certainly increased over the last couple of years. And for those who are particularly pedantic about this, TESE offers a flushing system not only for cold water as well as hot water piping. Well, to close the subject of hygiene, it should also be noted that touchless panels can now be installed on all systems, even on narrow frames using the new pusher system. This stand demonstrates with a transport system way, TESA has the quietest mechanism. The fact is that even with a large flush, one liter of water remains underneath, and with a special food, it makes sure that the water pours in and doesn't create unnecessary noise. To ensure that you don't create unnecessary problems when installing, TESA uses the so-called three-way valve which allows you to flush the pipe before you run the system and nothing will be damaged and everything will work as it should. In the collection of TZ toilets there is no big revolution. We all remember that there is TZ1. It is a toilet with a bidet function which has been implemented mechanically. An ordinary and ordinary toilet and now there is a version for the renovation products. If you want to replace the ordinary toilet to the toilet with a bidder function, it is now possible. The only thing is that the water will only be cold. On our channel we've talked a lot about the amazing possibilities that the Tetsa profile system gives you for the bathroom planning. And there's a different expansion here too. A fixture has been invented that allows you to create ultra-thin partitions. Whereas previously two rows of profiles had to be installed, now you can do everything in one row and end up with a 5.7 cm wide partition, which can then be tiled with whatever material suits you. For compact bathrooms, it is a godsend. This fixture was developed by a Russian engineer from Tessa company. One of the main advantages of TESA profile is the possibility of prefabrication. The creation of elements in the workshop and already delivered ready-made to the construction site. It is especially great for big commercial projects, but also for private ones. It gives you an opportunity to speed up the construction period due to the fact that as certain operations are performed out of the construction site and also to reduce the amount of noisy works and the moving due to the fact that it is not necessary to care about the scraps. Pipes of course are not designer products, but nevertheless it is worth paying attention to their quality, because if something happens behind the wall you have to break all the beauty. And this year Tessa company offers a new system that is called Logo AX. It is an Excel pressing system and its advantage over the already known Logo system is that it forgives almost all mistakes. If before you had to calibrate the pipe after trimming, chamfer it and be careful when inserting the pipe into the fitting, now it is almost unnecessary. You just trim it, just stick it in and everything is fine and reliable. Updates have also affected the existing TC drainage systems, especially TC drain profile. Now they can be as long as 1.6 meters, which is by far the longest drainage channel that exists in the industry. This incidentally would be great not only for the large showers, which have now become popular, for double showers for example, but also for renovation projects, when you swap a small bathtub for a nice large shower. For commercial projects, there's a long-awaited vertical outlet siphon. 
quite productive. It is one and a half times the capacity of the conventional siphon. And again, for commercial products or for guest bathrooms, would be very cool to use a dry shutoff with a membrane. Let's not forget the company's best-selling drainage channel TC Drainline. It can now be completed with the glass panels and the very pleasant to touch matte finish matching square panels. At the center of the famous Swiss manufacturer, you can see all major trends in the bathroom design. This, of course, is evident directly at the booth. In terms of materials, it is as economical as possible. Cement slabs are used on the floor, the walls are lined only on those sides on which the samples are exhibited. The novelty of this show, the Peter Wirtz design meta collection. Very simple design, one might say poor design, reduced to what is necessary, but the materials are of high quality. Of course, great attention is paid to the conservation of resources in the production and durability of the item. And of course to safety. For safety, above all for hygiene, the new type of flush used in the toilets of this collection. For emotionality and well-being, the smart bathroom concept is responsible. Here we have a digital shower that gives an impression and an interesting experience with this equipment. And a very interesting bath concept that has not just chromotherapy but that creates certain color scenarios in order to soothe not only the body but also the mind. Last year, Simos introduced six new glossy colors that carry emotion even in their names. Ruby, Mint, Capri, Caramel, Narciso and the wonderful Graphite. Now these colors are available not only in the new Balloon and Pomo collections inspired by postmodernist aesthetics, but also in all other collections. For example, Mint looks great on hinges, and for Vignoni we can say Simos Classics, now it is also possible to choose such colors. The novelty of this show is a furniture composition on which the balloon sink is mounted. It is called Mobile Stairs, a very narrative design, clear and pleasant in every way. Obviously, in compact bathrooms, shower spaces are more often preferred than bathtubs. Of course, shower enclosures allow you to use the space to the maximum. You can ask for any size and it will be executed. Customization concerns not only the size, but also the finishes. The finishes of metal hardware. It can be already traditional white or black, there can be different metallic finishes and of course absolutely fantastic colors can satisfy any designer or any customer. And you can choose from both the proposed, quite too interesting, complex and bright shades and more calm pastel shades and even order your own color. As for the technology, here too the Germans certainly offered a very interesting solution. We have all already encountered accessories that can be attached not only mechanically but also on the glue base. And here the company offers to do the same thing with the shower enclosures. Well, in particular with the bathtub screens. The fact is that in Germany most homes are rented and of course the owners of the property do not allow each new resident to drill new holes in the rather expensive tiles. So you can buy such an enclosure and just glue it to the wall. And in some cases, when it is glued, for example, on the corner, it is basically the only solution in order not to crack the tiles. 
As for other conditions, such a finding will be to the taste of those who have chosen to decorate the walls of their bathroom with a large format porcelain tiles. Here you will not have the risk to break an expensive slab and then take it off and reinstall, that is, additional costs are excluded. Perfect. Freeing up space in the main pavilion not only allowed to make a recreation area, but also to move closer to the public quite an interesting exhibition of the Design Plus competition winners. Just to remind, this competition is organized by the ISH in cooperation with the German Design Council and features works that were selected from 133 applications by a four-person jury. There are winners in the ventilation and heating sectors, but of course we are most interested in the sanitary field. It is worth paying attention to a rather narrative bathtub, which is practically a cupcake. In general, if you want to feel like a cake, you should pay attention to. A very interesting project for the public restrooms. I suspect, certainly, not for train stations, but for something more luxurious. The Finnish company Woody took the prize again. Last time they showed a sink made of sawdust, and now there is a toilet again made of sawdust. Pretty interesting faucet from a Belgian company. A very unusual solution for shower spaces, always like in shelves. Here an Italian company decided to make a shelf from their profile with which, in fact, the glass is attached to the wall. Once again, the Portuguese company that loves organic design shows its faucet. A famous Spanish manufacturer together with Monegas company, which is a company that deals with flushing systems in Monaco, made a toilet with a built-in system, not a tank on top but a tank inside the bowl, and I think this solution is very cool, because it is mechanical, there is no electricity, no special hydraulic, and it is an original solution. And now, friends, the exhibition is coming to an end. Let's summarize. What are the main trends in bathroom design? First of all, it is sustainable development, respectively objects reduced to the necessary minimum, where the principles of so-called sustainable design are used. Here, external circumstances played a role, of course. Rising energy prices, reducing resources. Great attention is paid to the durability of objects, Products are made so they can be recycled later, and quite many items are already made from recycled materials. Naturally, attention is also paid to water conservation, and we have seen quite a large number of objects that consume an imaginably small amount of this valuable resource. We are already used to the faucet for the kitchen, which also combine taps for drinking water. But for office spaces, in order to reduce the amount of bottled water, respectively plastic, dispensers are used, which can give cold, filtered water carbonated and heated to 90 degrees, so you can brew tea or prepare some other drinks. The bathroom is getting smaller and accordingly there is a great demand for its compact solutions. We all used to short toilets and personalized space-saving solutions, that make the most out of these small volumes. You can create modular compositions of furniture according to individual size and of course the possibility of creating shower enclosures according to individual size is not new to anyone. By the way, speaking of showers, I noticed that there is a lot of compact shower heads that give a full flow, so two problems are solved at once – space saving and full experience of pleasure. As for pleasure, it also pays a great deal of attention in all senses. The bathroom is also a spa, a bathroom is a place for rebooting, and it's a mental reboot. There are various solutions for that. We can even say in terms of psychotherapy, chrome therapy and new impressions. Digitalization works for this as well. 
we've seen a fairly large number of solutions that use modern control technologies. And it's important to note that cell phones have become a, the universal remote control for all the players. You can customize showers, you can customize light experience programs, and of course customize many other elements of the bathroom equipment. Hygiene is also an important factor of wellness, and we have seen these solutions on many stands. Antimicrobial coatings, coatings on ceramics that do not allow bacteria to multiply and consequently spread, have become popular again. These coatings are easy to care of. In my opinion, the most important trend is an emotional bathroom, which becomes a reflection of you and bring positive emotions. First and foremost is color. Color is the new norm. If before everything was white and clean, now everything is colored, but it is still clean. Here we can also mention the concept of creating bathroom in the type of living room or transition from bathroom to the living room. Tactile experiences in the form of very pleasant to touch surfaces, smooth shapes and natural colors are also work for this concept.